The last thing that I'm going to mention in this series is something known as the quantity theory of money. The quantity theory of money is simply this proposition that, in the long run, an increase in the quantity of money brings an equal percentage increase in the price level. A couple of important mathematical items that we need to cover. First, I'm going to define velocity of circulation. Velocity of circulation is the average number of times that a dollar of money is used annually to buy the goods and services that make up GDP. The inflation rate can be calculated as the money growth rate plus the rate of velocity change minus the real GDP growth rate. But in the long run, the velocity of circulation equals zero. So in the long run, we can calculate the inflation rate as the money growth rate minus the real GDP growth rate. And normally, if you see any questions on your exams, you'll normally be given these values. And so you just really need to remember this equation and you can simply calculate whichever variable is being asked of you. That was the series on money.